In this video, we will be looking at how we can develop our microservices deployed on Kubernetes locally. If you are not familiar, Scaffold is an open source project from Google which helps us deploy our application to local or remote Kubernetes cluster during development. This also creates a great feedback loop for developers without any overhead, as Scaffold is really lightweight. So to get started, let's click on Get Scaffold. So I will install for macOS. I will copy the command for AMD64. If you have an M1 Mac, you will need the ARM version. Perfect, Scaffold is installed. Let's now go to VS Code and see how we can use it with our microservice. To keep things simple, I've initialized a very basic Express app. So let's quickly run this. Great, as you can see our app is running. I will stop this now and let's dockerize our app. I will go back to VS Code and create a docker file. So from node 14 alpine work directory of app copy package json and yarn log for caching install our dependencies copy our project files expose a port and start our app So we just dockerized our node app with below pattern. If you are not familiar with the below pattern, I have a separate video on it. I'll link it in the description as well. Let's also add our docker ignore. And we don't want to copy our node modules. Now let's create a Kubernetes deployment. I'll create a folder for Kubernetes. Add a deployment YAML. Let's define a very simple Kubernetes deployment. So kind would be deployment. Let's add some metadata. Let's add a spec. I'll just use one replica. I will define our containers. Let's say app. Let's say express app. Let's also add some resource limits. Let's also define ports, container port, 4000. Cool, so this will be our Kubernetes deployment. To expose this deployment, I will also create a node port service. So going back to Kubernetes folder, I will create a service .yaml. API version, kind is service. App service. Let's define spec. Node port. Define a selector. Ports. Target port would be the same. Great. So this service will help us expose our deployment. Now let's create our scaffold config file.
let's do an API version. Kind would be config. Let's add a dev profile. Activation, command, dev. Let's also tell it how to build a container. Artifacts, our images, express app. Give it a context. Next is sync, manual. Use our source folder. So we're done with our scaffold config. Let's run our app. I'll go to the terminal. So to run our app, we will need a Kubernetes cluster, either local or remote. So right now I will use Minikube as our local Kubernetes cluster. Let's do Minikube start. Perfect, our local Kubernetes cluster is running. Now let's run our app. So scaffold, dev, port forward. Let's make some changes to our source code. Let's say on Kubernetes. And as we can see, it instantly built and deployed our app. And now we can focus on our code without waiting for changes to be deployed. Let's also see how we can use build packs. So I'll stop this. Go back to scaffold config. I'll remove this and add build packs. Here, I'll use a build pack provided by Google. And now we should be able to run our app without even needing a Docker file. So clear, restart our app. Our app is running. I'll change some code. So let's remove this. And we can see our changes were reflected pretty much instantly. So in this video, we saw how we can use scaffold to improve our dev experience with Kubernetes. We also use build packs to build our microservices without a Docker file. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.